Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Roberts. I'm the course director for the MSc in Astronautics and Space Engineering here at Cranford University. Space-based infrastructure is now an integral and ubiquitous part of everyday life. Uh, the industry has a continuing need for talented employees uh, with both the understanding of spacecraft system engineering as well as a broad range of technical skills. Uh, the course gives an overall system level understanding of the space, uh, how the space industry works and what happens in the space industry. The focus on the course is spacecraft system engineering. That is to understand all the different, as different systems and aspects that go together within a spacecraft and how these requirements can interact and often conflict. The MSc programme has three principal components, lecture modules, the group design project and an individual research thesis. The lecture modules which contribute a quarter of the programme cover the full breadth of engineering disciplines required to gain a complete understanding of spacecraft engineering. Students must also take option modules which specialise either in dynamics and control or in structural analysis. Other lecture modules which provide relevant background knowledge include subjects uh, such as space environment, uh, Earth observation in the environment, onboard data handling, spacecraft operations and a broad range of other lectures. The group design project is a significant part of the programme run in parallel with the lecture modules. Because it gives you like a complete mission design and you have to go through the whole concept development and everything. As well as all the lectures but that kind of rounded up everything that's when you really learn. Our alumni often comment that the group design project is the most valuable and enjoyable part of the course as it reflects accurately the way that multidisciplinary space projects are organised within industry and the space agencies. So you get a good understanding of the whole system as a whole and to be able to match, to make all the subsystem work together that was I think for me the really interesting part of the MSC. The projects culminate in a public presentation to representatives from industry and the academic community which is a great opportunity for students to network with potential employers and demonstrate their abilities. There are many industry people who come for the you know, group design project presentations and mm. after the presentations yeah. many people have contacted us to discuss about the job offers yeah. Yeah. and that's how I got my job. The Space Research Centre, which runs the MSc programme, has its own Class 100,000 clean room facilities which are available for the student use, along with other laboratories, a gun tunnel, uh, which we can use for hypersonic re-entry simulations, and a rapid prototyping facility. Being able to use industry standard software is critical. Uh, students are able to learn the use of satellite toolkit for a large range of space mission analysis tasks, MATLAB and Simulink for dyna dynamics and control analysis, CATIA for computer-aided design, uh, NASTRAN and PATRAN for structural analysis, and ESATAN and ESARAB for thermal analysis. We simulated real-life scenarios with using software tools like SDK, CATIA and uh, finite elements method. So that gives you a good hands-on experience with the software packages that you're using. Because it is industry standard, the good thing about this when you put it on your CV and then you go in an interview and this is really the software that the industry and the firm you're applying for needs you to have. So when I had my interview for the European Space Agency, they saw, oh, you're really good at CAD softwares and you know Final Element software and that's exactly what we need. So we need you. Whilst we have a core team of staff that teach on the MSc programme, we draw on a wide range of lecturers from different disciplines across the university and from industry. This provides specialist teaching in all areas as well as insight into how space industry, the space industry itself approaches technical problems within each discipline. We could map what we studied to what really happens in the industry and we also um, got an idea of how the industry is framed. You get an up-to-date contemporary um, information yeah. about what's going on in the industry and the way that the industry is uh, running so it, it really is as you get the information as it happens. Our students go on to a large number of space companies and universities across Europe. Typical employers include the European Space Agency, EADIS Astrium, Vega, Soyuz Satellite Technology Limited, uh, ABSL and Science Systems. These employers often come to the public presentations our students give but also arrange interview days at Cranfield. Typically, half our students have job offers within the space industry even before the course is completed. The Cranfield line on my CV was the most important line I had during my interview and it's exactly the, the thing that the, the company was waiting for and they only asked me questions about this the whole year, how my MSc went, so it was really helpful.
think the benefits of having a postgraduate environment is that everyone is really motivated. Everyone has the same goals. They're really sure they want to be here. They really, they really want to learn. It's it's a very mature environment, and I'd go as far as saying it's a very professional environment. Um, people come here to become professionals with that goal in mind. I'd certainly recommend the Astronaut and Space Engineering course to anyone who's got um, any kind of a, a strong personal interest in the space industry and wants, is motivated to work in the space industry. It gives you the vocational skills and the, the channels into the industry. Well, it's, a, <laughs> it's a very niche uh, industry, so I think basically you need this qualification to get noticed. Not only does Cranfield benefit rewards from, from the industry, but the industry also benefits from Cranfield's work and from its graduates. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you are interested in becoming a part of the thriving space industry, then we ask you please to log on to our website where you'll find more information about the course. And we look forward to receiving your application and welcoming you onto the MSc programme.